Nanakuma Academy includes grades from elementary school to college graduation. All the students, especially those who entered the academy as first graders, are from wealthy families. I'm Kenta Hanma, a boy who's in his second year of high school. Karen-sama, this way. Thanks. Karen Sionji, the daughter of the president of the Sionji industry, is at the top of the student cast. Needless to say, she entered the academy as a first grader. Good morning, Karen Senpai. She's beautiful as usual. She's perfect today, too. This is Takia Shiraka. Both he and I entered the academy when we were 10th graders. We naturally became close because neither of us were fitting in, but he figured out how to get along with rich kids after we became 11th graders. So now I'm the only one who doesn't fit in class. Karen Sama, I'll leave your bag here. Hey, how come no one has drawn out my chair? I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Here. Your morning tea is ready. And snacks, too. I'm in the mood for macarons today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll bring some right away. Wait, what's a macaron? We're in the same room, but live in different worlds. Hey, you! Uh, me? I bet you're a stereotypical nerd. I'll assign you to handling my English homework. What the hell? I won't do that. Hey, Kento! What did you say? Damn, my peaceful school life is over now. The words came out on impulse, but I can't take them back. I should keep going. I said I won't do your homework for you. It's meaningless unless you do it yourself. Hey, hey, man, you should stop! But everyone would... I don't care what everyone would say. We're classmates. I'm not your slave. Kento, you're practically hanging yourself. No one else has said such a thing to me. You should ask someone else for your homework, not me. Karen-sama, I'll do it. No, I will. But me, I haven't done mine yet, though. Hold on. What's your name? You should know the names of your classmates. I'm Kenta Hanma. I'm Karen Sionji. I know. I'm saying I'm the daughter of the president of the Sionji industry. You're a lower class person. Don't you know what you'll get for rebelling me? What? Are you threatening me with your parents' power? Just because I won't do your homework for you? You're so shallow. He's gone. Y you think I'd cause you any trouble? I just said so. I would never do that. Who do you think you are? Class has started. You should go back to your seat. Don't tell me what to do. Kento, what's wrong with you? You didn't have to piss her off like that. It's so not you. Sorry. <sighs> I messed up. I couldn't hold myself back because every word of hers made me remember some bad memories from my past. Back in elementary school, there was a boy named Tomio. He was from a rich family. Hey, Kenta, carry my bag. Huh? Why? Just do it. Okay. His father was the president of a company that my father worked at. I was a kid, but smart enough to know I shouldn't make him angry. However, massage my shoulders. Okay. Put my shoes into my locker. Yeah. Give me your pudding. Ah! Uh. Dealing with this evil, massive asshole every day was a hopeless weight on my soul. One day after we entered middle school, I snapped. Do my homework as usual. I won't. Huh? What did you say? I said I won't. It's not code, dick. I'm done with this. My father works at your father's company, yeah, but you're not my boss. You better get ready. My father got fired. Apparently, Tomio asked his father to get back at me. I know he was a jerk, but never thought he'd go that far. Dad, I'm sorry. Don't be. I had no clue you'd been suffering. I'm so sorry. My father tried to get a job in the same industry that he'd been working in. However, he ended up working in an industry where he had zero experience because Tomio's father hindered him. I'll get a job after I graduate from middle school. Now, you should graduate from high school at least. I was never going to enter a private high school whose tuition was really expensive. But later on, I came to know that I could enter Nanakuma Academy on a scholarship. Luckily, my test scores were good enough for that. She said exactly what Tomio did to me. I just talked back to her without meaning to. The likes of Tomio and Sionji will never hesitate to mistreat you if you once give in. You should be strong. Okay, hold my sake. Kento, I'm hungry. I'll give you 10,000 yen, so go get some food for me. Go get it yourself. What? Karen-sama, I'll go. No, I will. I will. Wait, can I keep the change? Then I will. Kento, my feet are tired from PE class. Give them a massage. Do it yourself. Ugh. Let me give a massage to your beautiful feet. I'm good at massaging. You can trample me if you want. I want to touch your feet too. Kento, carry my bag to the gate. I'm going to the club. I'll carry your bag. I'm powerful despite my looks. I'll skip the club and carry your bag. Bag? I'm not in. As I tried to leave the classroom, Sionji-san got in my way. What? Why won't you pay any attention to me? Huh? In the next moment. Why do you ignore me? 
<laughs> wow, hey! She embraced me so hard that her breasts got pressed up against me. I envy you, man. You know how hard I've been trying? Hold on! W what? You only told me to do this and that. Thought it'd make me happy? Huh? But everyone happily helps me out all the time. It's because they're all perverts. It's not common. It's not? No! Carry your bag and go buy food on your own. Everyone gets tired after PE class. You're the only one who makes their classmates prepare tea and snacks. But that's how I grew up. Well, you didn't have our typical upbringing. You think you can live like this for the rest of your life? I thought I could. Maybe you can, but you won't become mature at all. You should become independent. Independent? How would I do that? You can start by carrying your bag on your own. Oh, okay. Could you hand me my bag? Y yeah Look, <laughs> I'm holding my bag. Yeah, but you can't be proud of that. It's a big step for me. Okay, good luck. I hope you'll become more independent. Wait! What? Help me become independent. Nope. Why? You're being bossy. No one will ask for a favor like that. Could you help me? Sure. That's how we started striking up a relationship. I told her I'd help her without thinking it through. It's a pain in the ass. Kento, morning. I carried my bag by myself today, too. Good. Is my morning tea ready yet? Here it is. No, you're not having any tea. Or snacks. Oh, come on. They'll help me relax before class starts. Take a look around. Is anyone else doing that? But I'm... You should get rid of the idea that you're special. We're at school. Everyone is equal. Okay. Ah, we ran a lot during PE class. I'm so tired. Let me give you a massage. I'll be your chair. Guys, get off. Did you stretch after running? No. Then stretch your calves like this. You'll feel better. Okay. Let me give you this. Oh. The pain will soften if you warm your calves. I used them already, though. Thanks. Oh, I never thought she'd say that. I thought she was just a selfish girl. Maybe she is nice. Kento, I want to go to the snack counter. Come with me. Uh, could you come with me? Sure. Oh, I never thought it was this crowded. We have a cafeteria, but the snack counter has various types of breads and sweets. A lot of people come here. I never knew everyone had to wait in line to buy me food. You realize new things when you try something by yourself. Right. This is my favorite, curry yakisoba bread. I've never had yakisoba. Really? You should try it. Oh, let me pay. No worries. Ma'am, I'll have two of them. Sure. Kento, why didn't you receive my money? You're a lower class person. Ugh, well, yeah, I am. And you're not. Then why? I can afford to buy some bread. More importantly, I wanted you to try it. No one else has ever bought me food, except for my family. Oh, really? They often give me presents, though. It's my first time being treated. <laughs> That's surprising. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Wait, was she this cute all the time? Now she's honest and damn cute. You're always with Karen-sama lately. I thought you hated her. I did, because I didn't know she's a nice girl until we became close. Oh, yeah? Karen-sama, I'll carry your bag. Karen-sama, I'll carry your bag. Thanks, but I'll carry it myself. Then I'll walk you to the gate. I'm fine. Kento! Yeah? Um, why don't we do today's homework together? Please? <laughs> You're being weird. Sh shut up, please? School's library closes soon. We should go to a public one. I've never been to one. Well, my driver should know the way. Are you going to keep him waiting until we're done? But I need a ride home. Why don't you take the train? Don't worry, I'll be there. Train? I always wanted to try that. Okay, let's go. Yeah. After I gave the driver my phone number and Sayonji-san told him to go home, we headed to a public library. When I was in elementary school, I had a tutor and was keeping up in class. I didn't do any homework because I thought I didn't need to. Then, my classmates started doing it for me. It became natural for me at some point. Our classmates spoil you. Your parents, too. I never knew that until you pointed that out. That's impressive. Did I bother you? Well, I found you selfish and self-centered. I thought it'd be fine as long as I stayed away from you. You still think so? No, you're trying to change. I hope it'll work out. Come on, we have a lot of homework to do. Yeah. That was close. I almost put a thought that's been inside me all this time into words. Wow, I never knew it's already dark. Well, the sun goes down early in winter. <laughs> you must be cold. Put on my gloves. Oh, but... Don't worry, I'm used to being outside in winter. 
You have a ride home every day, so it must be cold for you. Then, give me one of them. But... Um, can I put the other hand in my pocket of your coat? I want to hold hands with you in the pocket. I watched this in a movie recently. I always wanted to do this. Um... You don't want to? Yeah, come on. It's warm. Yeah, what's going on? I can practically hear my heartbeat. She meant nothing to me before. I never thought I'd feel this way. You put coins here and select the number of tickets you want to buy. Like this? Oh, hey! Kento, a ticket came out. Good for you. How come I'm enjoying every moment with her? This is my house. Wow, as expected of you. I had a really good time. Thank you. I had a good time too. Can we do this again? Sure. Hey, here comes the demon. Give her back to us. You ruined my life. Wow, what's going on? Taking care of Karen-sama was the reason to live. You can figure out why they're mad. Reason to... Seriously? Yeah, I really love devoting myself to her. I'll risk myself for her, and it'll make me happy. It's our job to serve her. Okay, so you guys volunteered to take care of her? Of course. She deserves it. She's our queen. No, our goddess. What's going on? Karen-sama. Please, give me an order. Any order. I won't. Why? Why? I realized I was spoiled. I don't want to cause you guys any more trouble. I'm sorry for what I did. Karen-sama. Don't be sorry, please. You never caused us any trouble. That was new realms of pleasure. I've decided to become independent. I'd like you to cherish your own lives. Karen-sama. Sweet lord. I'll miss you. When I cried on Kento's chest the other day, I was simply mad. I could never understand why he wouldn't obey me. I was such a kid. But now, I'm really glad I met him. Sionji-san, me too. Kento, I like you. I promise I'll become more independent. So, um, do you think I'm girlfriend material for you? I do. You tried hard to become independent, and I found out that you're honest about your feelings, and your smile is unbeatable. I fell for you before I knew it. Oh! I'm so happy to hear that. Oh. Ah, the power of love. It's so precious. I'm your servant forever anyway. Seems like things settled down. Um, I'd like to go on an after-school date today. Sure. She grew up being overly spoiled to the point that she believed it was common. Now, she's such an independent, friendly girl. I never thought I'd fall in love with her before, but I'm enjoying my days with her. It's a ways off until I marry Sionji-san and take my revenge on Tomio, the boy who mistreated me.